Hey Storm Shielders, meteorologist Jason Myers here. Whether you're a Storm Shield veteran or you're brand new, we thought you might have a few questions on how to set up the newest version of Storm Shield. So we're going to walk you through both scenarios, upgrading from the older version and setting Storm Shield up for the very first time. If you're simply upgrading, Storm Shield will automatically import your existing saved locations and other preferences. As soon as that's done, you're all set, so feel free to explore the app a bit. If you've just installed Storm Shield for the first time, open it up to complete the setup and start receiving weather alerts for your current and saved locations. First, we need a location, so tap that Add Location button. If you want to receive alerts wherever you go, give Storm Shield permission to access your current location, so tap Allow right here. And obviously, you'll need to give Storm Shield permission to send you alerts, so tap Receive Alerts. Storm Shield will ask to make sure it got your location correct. If we got it right, tap yes. If not, tap no, and the app will ask you to enter your home location. Now your setup is complete. From here on out, you don't even need to keep Storm Shield open to receive alerts. To change settings in the app, tap the gear icon in the upper left corner. You can save up to five locations that Storm Shield will monitor and send alerts your way to make sure any family and friends at home, work, or out of state stay safe. Tap the plus icon to add a location. Tap the minus icon to remove a location, or tap the location's name to rename it something like Mom and Dad. Also in the settings screen is Manage Weather Alerts, where you can choose from over 100 different severe weather alerts you want to receive. To get alerts wherever you go, StormShield uses Apple's significant change location service, not GPS, which saves your battery life. You can change this permission at any time. To see what's new in StormShield 3.0, check out part one of our video series. And for the Android users out there, nothing changes for you just yet, but think of this as a preview of things to come. And if you have any more questions about StormShield 3.0, visit our Frequently Asked Questions page at support.stormshieldapp.com.